Hello bookish friends of the internet. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. Today I am very excited to do my June book haul. Yay! Sorry if I sound a little bit sick because I think I am because I lost my voice last week and I've been having like sniffles and coughs all week and I can't get rid of it. So I've been drinking a lot of water so make sure you guys have a water something to drink, something to eat, because my book haul, as always, is huge, and I am home with my family today, so sorry if you hear any of them outside the hallway, uh, but I am here to film my book haul. A lot of these were birthday gifts sent from you guys, so thank you guys so very much for sending them my way. You guys didn't have to do that. That was amazing that you did. First, as always, with my book hauls, I like to talk about what I'm currently reading. I'm hoping to finish this up either tonight or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow. But that is Star Wars Brotherhood by Mike Chen. Chain. I am really loving it. As you can see, I'm annotating it as well, so that's really cool. Um, this is the new Star Wars canon book that just came out in May, and I'm actually getting around to reading it this month, which is exciting. I am literally halfway through right now. I have this much left and I will talk about this in my June wrap up hopefully because I am working tomorrow but tonight I don't have any plans so I just plan on staying home filming for you guys and reading. Um, so I do have this much left and I might start a new book after this or I might wait for July and start a new book. I don't, haven't decided yet but I'm really loving this. This takes place between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, I believe. So I'm really loving it. We got so much background, which the pinks are for background. The green are my favorite moments. The blue are for fighting scenes. And orange was funny moments, because there's been a few funny moments between Obi-Wan and Anakin. Um, but I'm very excited. I cannot wait to talk about this in my June wrap up. So this isn't a brand new book. It's just what I'm currently reading. Now let's jump into the book haul, shall we? I'm very excited. Two of these I got sent to me from Disney Books and from Jamie over at Rockstar Book Tours. I read both of these this month and they will be my June wrap up and that is The Last Fallen Moon by Gracie Kim. I read this, gave it five stars. And then I also read Rise of the Snake Goddess by Jenny Elder, Elder Moak. These are both book two to their series. I need book three ASAP so badly. I need book three and I just hope we get a book three for this one because um, I don't know if there will be a book three but I know there's a book three coming for this one for sure so very excited to see where this series will end um, and I'm really loving these two books. I have my book review up on my Instagram which will be linked down below so go check these out please. Also uh, this one was amazing, my favorite read of June I think so we love this. Thank you Jamie for putting me on the book tour. Uh, next book I have is a pre-order that came May 31st, but I never was able to put it in my book haul because it came like the 5th of June. So that is Places We Never Been by Casey West. You guys know me. I am a huge Casey West fan. I am so excited to read this one. This is her newest YA contemporary book. Don't know too much about this except it has to deal with a road trip and it's an enemies to lovers. Friends to lovers to enemies. So we love that trope. Um... And it says Nora Simmons Summers Road Trip is going to be absolutely perfect. She's leaving for California for the first time in her life. She's interviewing at her dream college, the place for future video game animators. And she's reconnecting with her childhood friend, Skylar Hutton, the boy who taught her to draw, the boy who she still hasn't forgotten about after all these years. What could go wrong? It just sounds so cute. So such a fun summer read. And I'm bringing this with me to California next month because A, it's set in California, and B, I have a vacation coming up. So I'm so excited to bring a bunch of books with me. So yeah, I'm just very excited for this. It came out May 31st. Next is another pre-order that came out June 7th, and that is Home Field Advantage by uh, Delilah Alder. This is her newest YA contemporary novel. I think this is her first one. Yeah, this her first one besides That Way Madness Lies. Um, or no, it's her second one because uh, she wrote Cool for the Summer. 
I haven't read Cold for the Summer yet, but I definitely want to read both of these together back to back just to see how this one is. I don't know too much about this. This deals with a, a football player and a cheerleader falling in love. We love that. So I don't know too much about it. It's a new release that I wanted and I had my hands on and I'm just really ready to devour this book. Another new release I have that I haven't read the first book to, but I'm hoping to soon, is This Wicked Fate by Kaylin Barron. This is the second and final book in the This Poison Heart duology. I'm hoping to read book one in July, so look forward to my July TBR then. Um, I don't want to read the summary of this because I don't want to be spoiled for what happens in book one, but I know there is a, a LGBT LGBT characters in this book so I'm very excited to see who they are what they do what type of magic they have and this is a new release I definitely wanted to get my hands on next book is a highly anticipated read for me here on this channel this is also going to be in my July TBR and that is The House Across the Lake by Riley Saker I am bringing this along with me to my vacation because we're going to be on the beach this uh, next month and I feel like this would be a weird, but yet a perfect beach read, if you know what I mean. Um, so you guys know who Riley Sager is. He's the king of thrillers. And I cannot wait to read this one. I've read all his books except Final Girls. So I might read Final Girls after reading this one. But I've been hearing mixed things about this one so far. So I'm intrigued to see what I will think of this one but I read the first chapter as soon as I got it and I was intrigued instantly so I cannot wait to read the rest of this and see what else I think about it. Next book is a pre-order that came out June 14th and that is The Blood Trader by Na or Letty Noni, not Naomi, <laughs> Letty Noni. This is the third and final book in the Prison Healer trilogy. I almost forgot the first book. I read the first book back in December, um, and I really loved it. I gave it four out of five stars, so I'm excited to binge read two and three this summer. Maybe I'll do it in July, maybe not, I don't know. But this is a new release that came out this month, and I'm so excited for this one as well. The next three books I have are my June book of the month picks. So my main pick was The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. I'm so sorry if I butcher your name. I'm so excited. I'm planning on better reading this with my friend Lori this summer. Then I also got The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark. This is an adult thriller. Um, I want to get more into thrillers and I don't know too much about this except it's a missing, missing person case. So that will be quite interesting. And then this one doesn't come out till July and that is Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hiller. This one is also another adult thriller with a uh, podcast element in it. And I don't know too much about this one either, except we're following it of what happens afterwards. So that's kind of interesting. This one comes out July 26th, I believe. So if you want it early, you can get it early from Book of the Month. Uh, next book I have is a new release that came out on June 7th, and that is Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kemmerer. This is the first book in the new spin-off series from her, which is the spin-off series to the Curse Breaker trilogy, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but I'm very excited for this because it follows the side characters from A Curse So Dark and Lonely into this as the main characters now. So I'm excited for that. Um, first book in a brand new trilogy. She is a thick boy. I am nervous and excited for that because we don't have book two yet. But I will read anything and everything Bridget Kemmerer has because that's just how amazing her writing is. Another May 30th first release was American Royals book three, Rivals by Catherine McGee. Again, third book in the trilogy, a pre-order I had that just came in June and I just never had a chance to put it in my May book haul so it's in here. Next is the beautiful Owl Crate edition of Book of Night by Holly Black. Look away now if you don't want to be spoiled. This is what it looks like. It is stunning with black edges and if you take the dust jacket off there is the black sky as the end pages. There's this on the front and that on the spine. And it's, really, it's just really pretty. I am buddy reading this with a friend of mine in July from TikTok. So I'm so excited to see 
what I will think of this one and hopefully I'll love it as much as I think I will. Next book I'm definitely buddy reading with my friend Lori in July. We already have a page breakdown for this and something about this dark, mysterious, atmospheric uh, adult fantasy book just intrigues me and it's the first book in a trilogy and that is Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Maru. Maru? I first heard about this book through Zoran over at I forgot your username. Oh, I've got a fake friend. Uh, but I'll leave Zaran's Instagram down below. I'm following her on Instagram and I'm in her Discord chat. So I'll leave that down below too. Uh, but Lori, I cannot wait to buddy read this one with you. My page breakdown is set. I got this at Target after my birthday. So thank you to myself for buying this book, even though it was expensive. Very excited. Um, this says. Uh, England 1882 in Victorian London two children with mysterious powers are hunt are hunted by a figure of darkness a man made of smoke like do I need to read more or are you not sold yet like sounds amazing I believe there's morally great characters in here as well and the world building is just immaculate so I'm so so excited to see what that's all about and it is a big one so who knows when I'll actually get to it Next new release I am over the moon excited for. I waited all year for the sequel to come out. I almost got an arc of it at Y'all West. Um, I'll leave my Y'all West vlogs up above or down below as well. Uh, but I finally have my hardcover finished copy and it's stunning. And that is Blade Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. This is the second installment of the Realm Breaker trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. It could be a four book series. I don't know. Uh, book two just came out as of yesterday as I'm filming this so happy belated book birthday to Blade Breaker I'm so excited to devour this one. I have the audiobook from audible So I'm ready to listen to it and yeah might be my next read after my Star Wars book But yeah, this one just came out and I have it in my hands and I cannot wait to devour this one um, next book I got yesterday as well was the shadow of the gods by John Gwynn. I hear nothing but amazing things about this book. And then my friend Zoran, she has a book club, um, Witches and Friends, I think is what it's called. I could be wrong. I'm so sorry. But this is going to be her July book club pick. And last month was for The Poppy War, and I already read The Poppy War. So I was like, oh, a new book and a first, a new book and a trilogy, and adult fantasy that I've been wanting to read. Yes, please. Perfect excuse. So. I'm excited. I'm ready. I know my friend Taylor just read the spin-off series to this and she devoured it. So I'm definitely going to have to read the first book in the spin-off series first before getting to this one. But this will be in my July TBR. Another new release that came out yesterday was Star Wars Shadow of the Sith by Adam Christopher. Another Star Wars book. You guys know I'm a huge, huge fan here of Star Wars. And if you haven't known that, where have you been the last like five years that I've been on booktube? Anyways, this is the newest book in the Star Wars canon. I think this is getting taken place before the Rise of Skywalker or after. I cannot remember exactly. Uh, if you guys know about the order of this book, please let me know down below. I kind of want to read the synopsis for you guys, but I also don't want to spoil anything just in case you guys haven't seen the movies. Uh, but I'm so excited to read a new Star Wars novel and to add this into my collection. Uh, the next three books I have, I have as graphic novels. I went to the comic book store this week and so I finally got my copy of I Hate Fairyland Volume 4, Sadly Never After by Scotty Young. You guys know me, I read the series quite a while ago but haven't talked about it because I don't own them. But now that I have Volume 4, I'm excited to go back and read these and see if I love them just as much as the first time but I'm happy to have this in my collection now and then next two books I have is Miss Marvel No Normal and Miss Marvel Generation Y these are volume one and two of the graphic novel series um I am very excited to read these to reread these because I remember reading these during high school and I absolutely love them. I devoured each and every one of them. So I'm excited to have these in my collection. Um, 
and then once I reread these I will watch the show that is on Disney Plus so I'm excited to see if I will love these again or not so we'll see I hope I love them they were kind of expensive but I, I think they're worth it so I'm excited to go back to the series and finish it up uh, next book do we want to do birthday gifts now I think we should uh, next books I got I got three actually four books from one person let me see I got four books from one of my good friend named Jessica who's in our queries book club pick um, and so I have four books here that I want to show you first book is the Iron King by Julie Kagawa this was for my Amazon wish list. Thank you so much, Jessica. I cannot wait to read this series. Then I have Igniting Darkness. No, Ign Courting Darkness and Igniting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. I'm so excited to read these. I read Grave Mercy by her and absolutely love that series. And this is a spinoff series to that series. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen in this one. And I just can't wait because I have both both book one and two so I can binge read this series this summer and then the final book Jessica got me was Enchante by Geta Tresley I'm so sorry for butchering it uh, this was also um, on my wish list and this just sounds amazing um, and I just need to have it in my life and I'm so happy I do uh, let's see the next Two books I got were sent to me from my friend Lori. Lori got me Star Wars The High Republic Edge of Balance by Shima Shenzhen and Justina Ireland. Uh, I'm very excited for this. This is a manga, so this is what the artwork looks like. Let me see if I can flip through. That's what the artwork looked like, all in black and white. I'm so excited to devour this one. Thank you so much, Lori, for getting me this. It was definitely on my wish list and one I'm definitely eager to get to. Another book she got me was one of her favorite books, and that is In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. Um, don't know much about this, except it's gay and it has pirates in here. Um, so sign me up. And the first chapter was a little weird for me, but I think I'll like it. So we'll see how it goes. I hope I love this one because, like I said, Lori loves it. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get my owl crate together. So, June's Owl Crate Look Away, if you haven't got it. We got two books. We had The Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Look at this beautiful classic edition. And then the June book was Together We Burn by Isabel Inazis. I think is how you say it. I totally butcher it. I'm so sorry. I'm also buddy reading this with my friend Lori in the month of July very excited for this one. I have an audiobook from Scrib. Uh, next books I got as a birthday gift. I'm trying to find all three books that she got me. So sorry for all the sniffles. First book I am very excited for and that is Crave by Tracy Wolf. This is the first book in a brand new series. Thank you so much Sydney for giving me this book. I cried when I opened it up. I also struggle opening up the little package that you sent, but thank you so much, Bestie. I love you. I miss you. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm buddy reading this with my friend Jeff in July, so a lot of these we'll see in my July TBR. Sydney also got me Over the Woodwood Wall by Deborah A. Deborah Breaker. My gosh, I cannot speak right now. This is the first book in a new novella series by uh, Miss Baker, so I'm so excited to read this. And then we're also buddy reading, Sydney and I are buddy reading Real Easy by Marie Rukowski. This was on my wish list as well. Thank you so much, Sydney. Uh, we both are just eager and intrigued by this because this is like a historical fiction slash thriller. So we both love that genre and haven't read enough of it. So we're going to buddy read this one. Um, our July Queer Reads book club pick for the month of July is Out There Into the Queer New Yonder by all these lovely, author lovely authors. Um, I'm really excited for this. Our book club picks have been hit and hit and hit and hit each month, so I'm hoping this one will be a hit as well. But I'm very excited to read this one. I just got this in my rainbow crate box, so 
definitely excited to get to it. An arc that I'm super duper excited for that I screamed on camera for was All of Our Demise by Amanda Fruity and Christine Lynn Herman. This book doesn't come out till August 30th and I have an arc of it from Tor Teens. Thank you so much. I scream my head off in the video when I open this so it made my day it made my whole month and I'm so excited to read this in the month of July uh, next books I have I got during the Amazon sale and so what was the other one? Oh yeah right here I got four books during the Amazon sale and so I got Empress Crown in Red by Simon and Smart. This is the second and final book in the Witches Deep in Gold duology, which I'm buddy reading book one with my friend Jessica in July. Then I got Harold the Ninth by Tamsin Mirror. This is the second book in the Gideon the Ninth trilogy. Um, I know I have book one on my TBR and I haven't read it yet, so definitely won't be reading this anytime soon. Then I got Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. I got this because this cover is stunning and I just wanted the new covers, honestly. So I treated myself and got it. And then I got For the Throne by Hannah Whitton. I'm definitely eager to read this one because book one and on a crazy cliffhanger. So I'm excited to see how this series will wrap up this year. Um, Definitely one of my quickest series I've read because it's only two books, obviously, but I'm still really excited for it. Count how many times I said the word excited. And then last but not least, these seven books that I want to show you. These are the seven books I bought for myself at Barnes & Noble. Um, so I'm going to just fly through, them, fly through them. First two books are Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the Fangirl Manga series, which I actually started reading volume one this month and I haven't finished it yet surprisingly but I might read it this week and finish it before the end of June and then hopefully I'll read volume two soon as well got these as a birthday gift to myself and I'm cannot wait to jump into it I don't want to say excited because that will get annoying but these uh, this one just came out in May and mm, I'm eager for it there we go that's a new word uh but yeah, more graphic novels slash manga to add to my collection. Next book is a author's debut middle grade novel, and that is Wrecked, Wretched uh, Water Park by Kirsten White. I love Kirsten White. You guys know that. This follows two twins at an amusement park, like a murder mystery type of thing, but for middle grade. So, I don't know. It says, can Theo and Alexander solve a spooky water park mystery and save their summer vacation? I just needed to read that blurb and I was sold. And I also didn't realize she had a middle grade book out this month. So I was also sold. As another book I have here is Robin Benway's new YA contemporary book, A Year to the Day. Uh, I've been anticipating this one a whole lot. I tried to request it at my library, but they couldn't get it for some reason. So when I saw it on the shelves at Barnes & Noble this month, I definitely grabbed it right away. She's the author of Far From The Tree, which I have on my shelf over here, and absolutely loved it. Buddy read it for my friends Sydney and Heather, so we might buddy read this one soon. This next book, I didn't expect it to be as huge as it is, and that is Only On The Weekends by Dean Etta. He's the author of The Black Flamingo, which I borrowed from my library and absolutely loved it. So I might own it, get a copy for myself and own it. Uh, but I cannot wait to read the new book. This one is written in prose. So it's literally just written in poetry format. So that will be an easy read to read during my vacation time. Uh, but yeah, this one came out, I wanna say this month or it came out in uh, May. Next book I have is Nate Plus One by Kevin Van Wayne. Uh, this one I was also very excited that it came out finally because I read uh, Date Me, Bryson Keller and really enjoyed that one. So I'm hoping I will love this one. I don't own the, I don't own Jason, Date Me, Bryson Keller uh, just because I borrowed it from the library. But again, maybe one day I'll go back and get um, the debut novel. But I'm excited to see what the second book has in store. And finally, I have 
Rory Power new book. Uh, she's the author of Wilder Girls and In a Burn Burning Garden. No, that's the, what this one is. Uh, Burning Down. What's your second one? Hashtag fake, uh, hashtag fake fan. Burn Our Body Down. That's what it was. I was close. <laughs> this one is called In a Garden Burning Gold. I screamed in the bookstore when I saw this. I didn't realize this came out so soon because I had an e-arc of it from the publishing company. And I was like, oh, I'm going to read this sooner than anyone else, everyone else. But this is on the shelves at Barnes & Noble. So very excited that I have it. And I might save this for September because I feel like this is a good fantasy book to read in the fall. So very excited nonetheless to get to it. So there you have it. That is my ambitious book haul. I am so, so Okay then. I am so excited that I was able to film for you guys. Sorry it was such a long video. I don't want to make this any longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up as it always helps me out. Hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and I'll chat with you guys down below. If you would want to buddy read any of these books with me, let me know. I'll leave all my friends who got me birthday gifts and anyone else I mentioned throughout the video down below. So just look in the description box. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.